If you've ever had a negative thought about yourself, I want you to listen for just a little bit longer. I saw a somewhat mesmerizing TED talk by a guy named Guy Winch, and what Guy said, and he explained very clearly, is that we have systems for our physical self. We have systems to take care of our physical selves. We do not necessarily have the systems to take care of our emotional self. So he gave an example and I think it's pretty clear. Every five-year-old knows that if you get a cut, you put a Band-Aid on it. They know you're supposed to brush your teeth twice a day. We know we're supposed to eat well. We know we're supposed to sleep. These are systems to take care of our physical self. It's more of a execution problem rather than a knowledge problem. I think it's easier to teach a cat to brush its teeth than my five-year-old. But what do you do when you do have emotional baggage? What do you do when you have thoughts that are depressive? What do you do if you feel alone? What do you do if you feel like a failure or that you're rejected or you're not worth anything? What, what do you do with thoughts that say, I feel unforgivable? If you get the courage to go to a friend and you say to them, here's how I'm feeling, is your friend even capable of telling you the right things? I tore my MCL about a year ago. I had no problems talking to people and saying, hey, what should I do? They had no problems talking to me and saying, go see a professional. No one said to me, walk it off. No one said to me, just pray a little bit more and it'll go away. They said, you need some help. You need to talk to someone. You need advice. Do we have those same mechanisms for our emotions? Well, here's what we need to know. Every one of us tells ourselves a story and we got to figure out where that leads. But then we need to listen to our Savior and figure out where that leads. Jesus in the shepherd on the mount, the good shepherd section in John chapter 10 says this, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. The father of lies is telling us many, many things, but Jesus tells us a different thing. And I want you to discover what millions of people have discovered. I want you to discover that when we hear the words of Jesus, we hear acceptance and we hear hope and we hear love and we hear companionship and we hear forgiveness. It's time we listen to a different story. It's time we have life to its full. So this week, just stick with us because tomorrow we're going to look at a case study for someone who I think who goes through the same processes that you go through when it comes to negative thoughts. Are you looking for guidance on specific topics from God's Word? Just go to our website www.yourtimeofgrace.org and you can find hundreds of videos just like this one.